Hello everybody, this is TacoMan2107 Tech. And today, this video is going to be about how to put Windows 10 on a computer. And in our last video, I showed you how to put D-Band on a bootable USB. So it's really the same thing, except you just have to change the file format to NTFS. And um, instead of loading the D-Band ISO, you load the Windows ISO. So we're doing this method using the bootable USB. So what you want to do is um, you want to put the USB into the bottom of the computer. And also, we're going to be using an IBM T43 ThinkPad laptop. It's pretty decent. Oh, oh, stuck. Okay, decent size. And anyway, so after we put this right here, what you want to do is um, you want to turn it on, but just for um, in case you in case this thing's weird or something for your IBM T43 ThinkPad, the booting stuff, it has a busted Wi-Fi card. The top USB port is busted. The optical drive is busted. So doesn't work. It might be different, and we have a 40 gigabyte slab in here. So let's turn this thing on. So you want to start by turning on the power button. Make sure the USB is plugged in. Let it boot up like normal. I'm really uh, pumped right now, but really sick. So don't judge. But after this thing loads up, <coughs> we're going to go to the BIOS. So this computer is nice, and it tells me that F1 is how I get to the BIOS. So what you want to do is make sure you go to startup. Make sure you go to, and go to boot. And... Mm, kind of make sure that everything really just says USB and if it does then click F10 and save and this part's weird this next part This computer is weird like it says F12 is how do you get to the boot list? We're trying to get to the boot list here But I can't this thing's busted. So I'm gonna click a bunch of random uh, function keys Don't really judge. I want to be professional here professional as possible, but I can't so we'll try it out it's F12. This computer's busted. Click F12. Keep on clicking it. As soon as it says that, you let go. I remember this because I did this a long time ago. You click F12. It says preparing boot device list. But you see how, like, when, after it gets done with this screen, it goes to the normal black screen. It's like, oh, click F1 or whatever. But check this out. It's a glitch, I think. You click escape, and it takes you to the boot list. It's a scam. Okay, so whatever. Click your USB thing, hopefully it shows there, mine does, so click it, and press any key to boot from USB. Windows 10, in all its glory. So, next step is to go through the long installation process. So, I'll skip ahead. The very next screen you should see is this, and just go ahead and click next if you're in America, and click install now. And I'll skip ahead. Okay, after that last screen, this is also the next screen you should see. If you have a product key, that's cool, but I'll activate mine later. So I'll click, I don't have a product key. Then I'll just choose Pro because I'm cool. And it's loading. I accept the license terms. Yes. Uh, do custom, do custom. And now, uh, well, the hard drive in here already has Windows 10 on it, but I don't care. So, I'm going to erase it. Wow. Quality of this is bad. Okay, whatever. So, um, your hard drive should uh, pop up, but if it doesn't, then you need to go onto a separate computer and make sure that it's, um, what's it called? The file formats, like NTFS or something. But it should look like something like this. It just has only one drive or something, depending on how many drives you have in your computer, unless they're partitioned. But basically, click, click, select that and click Next. And now we wait. So I'll skip ahead to the next part. Okay. As soon as that screen finishes, you'll see this. And it's just telling us... Windows is going to restart. So after that restarts, we send it to the laptop. No. After that restarts, then we get this. And it's normal booting stuff. And from this point, we unplug the USB because 
I figured this out. This is a voiceover, but yes, you unplug the USB at this point. Okay, so you push escape. And now it's gonna load. I'll skip ahead. Okay, you may be getting a black screen is the next screen you maybe might be seeing, but it might be black because, <clears throat> well, it's taking long and you don't have enough RAM, your processor's slow, but the next screen should look more um, like happier because then you know something's happening. So see you in the next part. Okay, now the machine is restarting right after the black screen. So it's working and we already removed the USB though because you're gonna see this boot screen like I think three times in the process maybe when it says it needs to restart and the second time it says it doesn't but when it shows the second time as I said a little earlier just unplug the USB so escape and somewhere coming up it's gonna tell us that we need it to make an account so see you and this is the next screen you should see. So it's saying everything, all the cool stuff. Just use Express Settings. Here we go. Skip ahead just in case. Taco Man 2107. And I'm going to enter my password so you don't get it. So you don't see my keys. I'm just moving it just in case. And then now you can enter a password hint if you want to, and then click next. So <clears throat> my password hint is something. <laughs> so okay. So after you did that, just click next. And now it says just a moment. So I'll skip this just in case because the last time it took long. Okay, I did not need to skip that, but because that was really fast, finally. So click not now, unless you want to use Cortana, but Cortana, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's Cortana. <gasps> yes, and this is the final screen you should see. Hi, we're happy you're here. That's really nice. I appreciate that statement very much. Getting things ready. Please don't turn off your PC. Oh, I won't. Okay, I skipped that last part because it was taking way too long to get to the next words. Windows stays up to date to help protect you in an online world. That's really nice. I appreciate that. Go to start. Get started app to see what's new. Cool beans. That's, that's pretty decent right there see what's next making sure all apps are good to go don't turn off your PC yes finally and there you have it guys thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped you or at least explain more on how to make a bootable USB and how to put Windows 10 more importantly but this is also important so look, a copy of Windows 10 right here. And the battery's about to die, but that's okay. So we've successfully put Windows 10 on an IBM T43 ThinkPad laptop. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.